Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today I'm going to do something that I have want been wanting to do for a little while now. Um, I tried to make a Mass Effect video but for the fourth game and then it didn't feel right because you know um, like I did make videos on Mass Effect a while ago like a long time ago like if I can look on my channel here like it literally took <laughs> talking um, <laughs> um, it's, it's, it was, it's been a good amount of time since I've made a Mass Effect video, and, you know, I am very sad that that was my quality, <laughs> um, um, when I was, you know, a kid doing videos, like a dumb kid recording her TV while she was playing a video game, and it wasn't really good commentary, you know, like, it's, it's, it wasn't good at all. But, you know, that now that I can actually record a screen and you can actually see the screen up close happening and good definition, it's it's actually really fun to me to be playing something that I really enjoy and to be sharing it with you guys because, you know, that's part of being a YouTuber, you know, sharing the things that you love to do, which is me playing video games. I love to do that. So sharing it with other people and the games that I love to play is one of the most amazing things that I could ever do. And I'm so happy that I have finally found something that I love to do. And I love to make these videos. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'll show you guys that clip that keeps trying to play in a couple seconds here. But um, yeah, so I mean, everyone who's been giving me all the likes and the views and the support, is just you guys are amazing and i love you all for it um but like yeah i was gonna say i was gonna say um where is my first mass effect video my first mass effect video is was three years ago um that was a very long time ago when I, that was that was a <laughs> that was three years ago i was i think i was i was around 13 maybe maybe 14 maybe just turning like like around my birthday, so it was pretty young, you know, to be making videos. And my first video was three years ago as well, but, you know, a lot farther back than that <laughs> Mass Effect video. And it's, it, it's, it's, inc it's crazy. And it's, it's just insane to be thinking that I've been doing this for three, that I've been, no, actually the first video I made was three years ago. And then the n re most recent video I have made was only three weeks ago. So to think that it's been three years since I started the channel and three weeks since I've actually started making decent content, it's it's just insane. And um, I'm gonna be playing some Mass Effect for you guys and um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the clip to start, but I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to do these things for you guys because I love to play video games. It is one of my favorite things ever. And you know, if there, if I could get paid to just sit and play video games, if I ever get that offer, I would definitely most likely take it because I'm so, so excited about just even playing video games for people, random people on the internet. So I mean, imagine playing video games for some big company where I literally get paid thousands of dollars to do it. And that would just be like a dream come true to get that offer. But yeah, it's going to start here in a second. There we go. Be quiet now. Do you copy? We're under attack! Incoming transmission from Novaria. Are you there? Repeat, requesting immediate aid. Please! Please! Request denied. Setting new course for Kalistan. Many things lie ahead. None of them easy. That makes me so nostalgic. <laughs> oh my god. To think that I played this game four years ago. Because don't forget that in that... We all know that that was not my first time playing it. Because of the way I was acting and how I knew exactly what to do everywhere I went. So, you know, it is pretty insane to think that it has been a s so long since um, my first time playing the game. And just to think, you know... Um, I, is there not subtitles or am I just high? Is it in gameplay? There is subtitles, okay. Ooh, no, oh, you know what, you know what? Just kidding. <laughs> um, you know what, yeah, I will make it um, very easy because 
I do this to, you know, I do this stuff to, um, I play these games, these, these sort of um, story games, just because I'm here for the story, you know, and you will never see me play a game for the fight. The only game you will ever see me play for a fight is Fortnite or GTA, because there's, I've never played one of these games and did it for fighting. I never got this game. I never, I never asked my dad to buy me this game because I wanted to see how the action was. I bought this game because I wanted to see what the story was. So when my dad bought it for me and I played it for the first time, oh my god, I was in love because it was such an amazing game, such an amazing storyline, amazing characters, you know, to get attached to so easily. And it's just, it's, it's insane, you know, to... To, you know, have like an emotional connection with these characters. Like, these characters die. Like, if these characters ever were to die in a game, in this game, like, if I was to ever make a big screw up and I had to, like, kill someone or I had to, like, I had to leave someone behind, I feel it in my heart. Like, it is the hardest decision ever. Like, I would never, like, him, the guy that's on the screen right now, I have never played Mass Effect 1 and he wasn't my love interest. <laughs> I am so connected to that man on such a deep level that I would never choose anyone else in this game over him. I just love him way too much. He's an amazing character, amazing voice choice, amazing, you know, visual choice of the character in general. And it is just like amazing. And in the second game, you know, right there, that guy on the screen right there, I choose him too. Same time. Sometimes I'll choose him in um, Mass Effect 3 too, but you can't sadly you cannot romance him in the first game so you can't really have that ongoing relationship throughout all three games but um in the first game if you romance with Kaden, it carries on through the three games it's not really much in mass effect 2 because he's only in there for like one scene but in that scene, you can see the, like, romantic tension between each other. Like, you know, just the longing, like, you know, feeling the need, like, to be together because they just love each other so much. And it's it's just, there's, like, a big betrayal. And it's it's just, it's, it's a tough thing to watch when you've been spending, like, half your life <laughs> watching these characters fall in love and then seeing such heartbreak between the two. It's It's just, it's really difficult, you know, to play games like this where there's such a big storyline and, you know, just seeing the characters, like, grow and stuff. I don't know. I sound like a fucking nerd, but, like, for real, it's it's just really difficult, you know, losing characters like that when you've played all the games a billion times, like me. Like, when I first played Mass Effect, I played it three different times. Three, Not even three different times. I can honestly not even say three different times. And every time, I was romancing Caden Malenko. <laughs> and I was making different character choices. I was making different you know, like, choices with the story, you know, nice, mean. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick with mean this time, and then if you want me to, the, the first time, I'm not really gonna do side missions, but if you guys would want me to do another gameplay with a different romantic choice, and, you know, doing more side missions and stuff like that, I will replay the game, and I'll make sure to put in the title, you know, like, this is the second, like, gameplay. Because, you know, it's there's so many different choices you can make in this game Welcome that it's just Alliance insane. But, yeah, let's make our shepherd. <laughs> God, I have not done this in at least a year. It's been a while. Connection. Secure connection confirmed. Um, and her new ID. Custom. I hate it when people use this. Like, why? Don't use her. It's fucking ugly. Please log in to you access your profile. I can't even see what that says. <laughs> I can't even see what this says because of the, the broadcast overlay. So I really hope I just hit the right button. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please I thought that I messed up profile. when that Confirm happened the first time when I played this, and I was like, no. I was like, no, I have to try it again, and then it worked, and I was like, oh, it's just because I have to make my own character. Okay, so here we go. Free service history. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they tran transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. So this one, um... 
isn't really like a big thing it's like you know like your parents or like alliance stuff and you know in the third game you do get to talk to your mom um in a dlc that i will plan um while i'm dying um but you know it's it's just like why it's it's not really a kind of thing like no one's like oh whatever but then there's this one you were born and raised on Minduar, a small border colony in the attican traverse when you were 16 when you were 16 slavers raided Minduar, slaughtering your family and friends you were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later so what about this one is people kind of think of you as like some tough bitch who survived like a big fucking raid and it's like oh shit and then earthborn you are an orphan raised on the streets of the great metro mega megatropolis covering what, whatever covering earth <laughs> you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlist military when you turned 18. so basically you were kind of like a street kid on earth so I go having both my parents still alive psychological because it's it's the it's the best um but then there's these during your service a mission you were on went horribly wrong trapped in an extreme survival situation you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people you survived while around you alone early in your military career you find yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force you risked your own life to close or to sold damage to possible have earned you medals and recognition from the alliance fleet Throughout your military career, you have held basic rule. Held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Efficiency makes your fellow soldiers, soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. This one's actually a hard, cho hard choice. I usually do, you know, that kind of starts you off with a mean reputation. So then if you're nice, people are like... <laughs> what <laughs> but i think this time i'm gonna do a, a mick nice so i think yeah so i i, I gave my life to save Confirmed my fellow soldiers because i'm nice <laughs> um so i don't really feel like being a soldier even though soldiers can wear heavy you know if i'm an adept i can only wear yeah adepts can only use light armor i can only use weapons training with pistols that that pisses me off because you can only use a pistol and if you try to use an assault rifle you can't aim and it's so annoying it's it's so annoying i hate <laughs> sentinels and receive no advanced weapon training so in this one you literally like you have biotic abilities and healing skills uh or tech attacks as well but you don't you can't aim with any of your guns so if you're gonna like, kind of like a no scoping kind of thing, it's like okay. Vanguard are biotic warriors. They can buy biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They use pistols and shotguns and can specialize in medium armor. Uh, engineers are tech specialists using the holographic Omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. And engineers can use only use light armor and can only receive weapon trainings with pistols. Same with adept. But their uh, adepts are biotic specialists through un um, un upgradable implants that can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and dis disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor and can only receive weapons trainings with pistols. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Inf infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can use pistols or sniper rifles. Uh, and medium armor and then soldier soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight soldiers get improved health can train in the use of all the weapon types types <laughs> start with the ability to use medium armor and can specialize in heavy armor so i can only use medium armor but i can use a do something to get Confirm heavy armor so like level up identification i think that Confirm is it actually mm-hmm once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. I let's go. Done, 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 done. Perfect. Let's start. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you skip all of that shit, uh, it's well, it's what pretty about easy to just kind of. Spacer switch. lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. 
She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still but guys, standing. Guys, it's me. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs Fuck a off, human. Ambassador. <laughs> and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Fuck, I just want to punch Ambassador. In the year 20, 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization in the decades that followed. These mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery, they called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. <sighs> That goes so fast for me when I try to read it out loud. <laughs> I had to read it fast. If you want to read that slower because you couldn't understand me, because I was being a little bit too much James Charles, you can uh, pause. Your tourist Prime relays in range. So, yeah. Initiating transmission sequence. Major. Fuck me, this nostalgia is so bad. We are you can't connected. stop smiling. Calculating transit mass and destination. Jesus. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. It's my baby. Approach run has begun. I have such a fucking connection with Cat Defender Shepherd, like I can't even fuck it. Oh my god. It's almost three in the morning. Why am I still awake? Three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Yes, Seth Green, 1, yes. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Fuck off. I hate that guy. <laughs> Same. <Miles gave> you <laughs> so you hate him. Uh, I just fucking, Remember sorry. to zip up your jumpsuit on the way <laughs> out of the bathroom? Myself. That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Cut the chatter. So I can either be really mean, tell him that he's overreacting, or I can be like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, he's kind of freaking weird. I think I'm gonna be a happy medium. Yeah, I know what to do. Can you fuck off? Thank you. <laughs> um... Like I said, I was gonna be nice. So I mean, I'll take. I don't always know. I'll say he's over. I don't Not know. Bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless Fuck there's it, a good just, reason. Fuck so. it, just hurt my heart hearing her voice. I haven't Dover. heard her voice in so long. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet in the bomb room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. I heard. Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Oh my god, I love my baby. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh my god. Oh my god, the walking on this is actually insane. I don't remember how to run though. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Nope. Hold left bumper and switch up. How do I, how do I put this away? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, is it B? Okay, it's B. Because I'm making sure. Because I hit X and then B and then it closed. So I didn't know if it was, maybe it hit reacted slow. Okay. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Yeah, I know. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Well, fuck you, then. 
I'm just gonna play the first mission. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play the first mission and then I'm going to look at that ass, bro, bro. Oof, oof. Okay, but I'm only gonna play the first mission and then I'm going to end the video. So don't expect too much this episode. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, I heard you guys arguing, Sounds bro. Sounds like you don't trust so. Arturian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat Fuck with her voice. Oh my god. Really <laughs> cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What you mean, you bro? the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown? Why does it matter if he's Turian? It doesn't huh? add up. Fucking racist. Okay. Turian Spectre. Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Um, bro, that was like so fucking long ago. Can you like chill 30 out? Years ago. You can't blame 30 years ago, bro. That. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Yeah, We're an bro, alliance shut up. Vessel, human you. Villain, and they don't come along just <gasps> to observe shakedowns. Oh, shake okay. Down. I'm sorry. I skipped Nihilus it. This looks like he's <laughs> expecting some heavy action. I forgot. I'm so used to just skipping everything because I've heard all of this before. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. If you guys want to hear what he said, um, pause and then read it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm so used to just kind of hitting X and skipping everything. Systems. I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype. Plus there's nine. Okay, fuck off. I don't want to hear about your fucking ship. Yes, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, he's basically just a fucking racist. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking to them. I don't have time for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Play the game if you want to hear what those bitches have to say about them being fucking weird. Uh. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk about what? You want me to what say? About? Nothing? <laughs> I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never I've fucking never been, been there. there. I, mean, you know I, I mean, I have been there, but it's not something her. A symbol for <laughs> people, hasn't it? Sorry. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Can you just get to your you've fucking got point, to bro? Say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Fuck is off. the Alliance truly ready for this? I want to hit you so hard. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. <laughs> this mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. That's quite obvious. I already bro. figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Should have told me. I don't like bro. being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research yeah, well, I need to know. I am leading this mission. Can you fucking tell me that shit? It's Prothean. Okay, since you guys don't really know what Prothean is, I'm gonna ask what it is. Prothean's vanished 50,000 years ago. Even though I know. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big ship. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Glad you hear that, I guess. Have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants I... to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. This that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. I had my hand over the skip with button. The Citadel Council. The I was like, no, I don't want to hear you. Power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, knows how far the Alliance oh, fuck, has come. That song. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not mm -hmm. only courage, but also incredible skill. 
That's why I put Obviously. your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. But if I, I refuse, like making decisions about my future. This isn't Oof. about you, Shepard. I was a little. Humanity I was a little rude. <laughs> We're counting on you. I don't think she had to be kind of mean about I it. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Let's talk about the Pir Protheans since you guys don't what do really you know, know what about that the is. Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I eat, um... Yeah, I think that's it. Unless you get... Just nah, give the word, whatever. Captain. We should be getting close that's to cool. Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out exactly captain no other alliance ships in the area thing. take us in joe like fast and quiet <laughs> this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us Someone in the cargo hold. Someone just laugh-reacted at my post, I'm sad. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. That was a funny post I just saw. Oh, my friend just posted a post. Gaging stealth system. Says, when I see lovers' names carved in a tree, that doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. What does surprise Somebody me is how many people bring a knife on a date. I'm like, <laughs> Your Jesus. team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping oh. survivors is a secondary objective. <laughs> the beacon's your stop. top priority. <laughs> Approaching drop point one. Fucking love Kaden. Nihilus, I honestly am like in us? love with this character. Like, Jesus. I move faster on my own. Peace. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Count on us, get us back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. So, like, Nihilus dropped out um, when Nihilus dropped out, like, really high and, like, far away from us. Like, he could have dropped out and then, like, here and then once more. Okay. Okay, a little backstory about Jenkins. I didn't talk to him on the thing. I'm fucking talking. Thank you. Shut up. Okay. I know how to draw my weapon. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So basically, this guy is, um. Oh, wait, I should switch my weapons because I'm not going to be using a pistol. Okay. Um, basically, Jenkins is from here. So that's why he's like, what the fuck? And, uh, Caden is from Earth. He's actually from Vancouver. Um,. Yeah, it's kind of fucking weird. He's from Canada. It's it's fucking weird. Like, it's actually really fucking weird, you know, sitting there. And when I first heard it, I was sitting there. And it was all quiet. And then he was like, I'm from Canada. And I'm like, woof. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, grew up in Vancouver. And I'll shit my pants. I was like, 
<sighs> I'm like, fuck. I get so fucking excited whenever I hear his voice. I don't know. I'm gonna shoot one, though. <laughs> They're harmless? I'm gonna kill them anyways. I freaking love the reactions. Watch, 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 watch. Damn! Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to. I know it just makes him angry. He's like, damn. How do I fucking run? How do I run? I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Wait. I, I, like I said, I haven't played this in so fucking long. Where's the controls? I honestly, I don't know how to play. <laughs> I don't need tutorials either. I'm gonna turn that off because I don't need tutorials. Oh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you. What's pissing me off is I don't know what, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think here. Fuck. I don't... Okay, that's crouch. That's select weapon. That's shoot. That's power select. Is it A? I'm actually not sure if it's A or not. I think it's A. I don't know. Could be. <laughs> I'm not sure. Sup, bruh? I'm gonna walk all over you. Sorry, that was really fucking rude. Fucking pull my gun out for me? What do you mean? It's a gas barge, I'm gonna shoot it. That was the wrong choice, bitch. You're gonna get me killed. Just kidding. Oh, I have to remember to take my mask off, too. My favorite fucking part is, um... Sorry, I'm uh, just taking the mask off with my person. Toggle helmet. Oh, I hate it. Toggle helmet. I don't like the helmets, they're kind of annoying. Hello? Hello? Thank you. There is no ammo on this either. You just shoot, and you see that little bar there, kind of just raising up with red. When that over thing, it overheats, and then you have to wait for it to go down. And it sucks because if you're not paying attention and you're shooting, it's the worst. But yeah, it, that's basically. It's good that there's no ammo in this one, but there's ammo in the next two games. I mean, three games. Oh, sad life. Um, forget about him, bruh. It's kind of. He deserves a burial. Everyone deserves You'll see a burial. That he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. It feels really weird seeing her with brown hair, honestly. I've only ever seen her with brown with blonde or black hair. It's actually really weird. I've had this certain set of how I play this game, and just playing it a bit different now is kind of weird. Oh, I kind of forgot about that shit, actually. See, like, right there, it's like, Because I almost ran out of the thing. And see, yeah, A is run. I was making sure. Bomb. Bomb. That's right, bro. Shit. Who's next? No one? I'm with me. And when you're not in combat, you can't run, which pisses me off. It's, it's dumb. I like that in Mass Effect 3 you have unlimited sprint, but in Mass Effect 2 and in Mass Effect you get a limited amount of sprint. Um, with Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect 4 you get uh, unlimited, which is amazing. And I love that. <laughs> just run away from all my problems, which is great. That's my bitch right there, Ashley Williams. I fucking love her to death. It's alright though, because she dies, but... <laughs> Spoiler alert. Anyone, anyone who saw... Okay. <laughs> anyone who saw my original gameplay um, of this is kind of like, oh, yeah, I know she's dead. Okay, this is ridiculous because the Hello. There we go. I hate that. The fucking Lancer thing is weird. I, think it was Shh. I wish you didn't. 
I, I honestly never really liked Ashley because she's kind of sassy. But, like, honestly, like, if you watched my original thing, you'll know. But if you didn't, it's on you. She basically dies in a couple of missions here. So Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams I don't really care about her. You the one who charged your ma'am? I'm actually the only... I've only played with her as the survivor once, like, of the thing. Because I have to choose between her and Kaden, and because I have such a fat crush on Kaden, I always choose Kaden. But, uh, I chose her one time, and it was fucking really weird not seeing Kaden through Mass Effect 1... I mean, Mass Effect 2 and 3. Like, it was actually really weird. Okay, um... Are you wounded, are you okay? Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Might as well be nice to her. <laughs> the others weren't so lucky. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 okay. years. Still Why almost 3. three. It's 2.55. It's not 3 in the morning. I lied when they I said it was 2 in the, the morning. Beacon. It's almost 3 in the morning. The dig site is close. Just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. Be one of we us. We could use your help, Sorry. Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. It's time for payback. Let's see. What Who's else the do Geth? you know about the Geth? <laughs> Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out! Why are you yelling? <laughs> Move out! Sorry. Had to happen. At the far end of this trench. Shh. Yeah, yeet. Okay, let me just... In the middle of a game, you can change armor. So, it's kind of cool, actually. Ow, fuck, I just got a cramp, sorry. But sorry, Kaden, for now, I'm gonna do it. But you get more things as you do. Um, I'm gonna reduce shit like this to, um, to Omni Gel, because there is something later on in the game that I need 100 Omni Gel for, because I'm shit and can't do the puzzle. So I always use the Omni Gel to uh, skip by it, because I'm pretty shit at it. Um, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what that does. I think it gives me XP when I do that. I'm just gonna crouch walk to it. What's up? What's up, baby girl? Ooh, honey. Slick. Okay. Fine. <gasps> There's still one alive. I just ran in here. Fuck. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the guest? Yeah, I gotta take her to fucking say. helmet off too. Maybe we'll know she more after we check on. out the research camp. We make for the Let's camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Oh, I skipped it. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to, but you guys read it. Sorry, I'm just gonna. Oh, that was the right spot. LT. There you go. And right there, I said LT, but that kind of makes me sad. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the stuff for the shotgun because I don't really use shotguns, I only use ARs. Um, so. Shepard. Right now, I'm just gonna give on myself the upgrades until I get, get more upgrades. Just because, you know, what's the point of using them on bots if they're bots? Yes, I would like to convert that to Emily Joe, thank you. How much Omni Gel do I have? Let me see, actually. Does it tell me? It does, but I can't see it. I think it's 35. Because it's a... There's a thing on the bottom. The overlay of the... What's it called? D, D, D. Sorry. This doesn't even make me run faster, does it? It doesn't look like it. It's a good place for an ambush. Oh. Fuck, I hate these 
Got three votes on. This. Sorry, I'm doing a poll on my Facebook and. Die, bitch, die. These are so annoying. We only die once we let out their little charge of energy, which is really annoying. You can't kill them until they let out their little charge, which is so fucking annoying to me, honestly. I hate it. This is the dink site. Yeah, yeah. Tells me that X is here, but like, what do I get from going here? Nothing. So. Um, I have that already. I think. Either way. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna convert shit I don't really need. To Omni Gel. So. Move. Fuck. In my way. Yeah. It's it's easy. I don't. When, I, when people use Omni Gel to override things, it makes me fucking laugh because, like, it, that's the easiest shit Humans. ever, just to um, override. The maker. They make the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Um, uh, you're Don't safe, worry. boy. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Doctor Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Can you shut What's up? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can set him up. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Did you notice a Turian in the area? No, I'm sorry. We haven't left the shed since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Groundbreaking medical advances? The possibilities are endless. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Thanks. How are you doing on the ground there, bud? Okay. I'm actually going to end the video here, so... Uh... I'll make another video. I'm going camping for a couple days, and then I'm going on Tuesday. I'm going out to a cabin for a Japanese exchange program. Uh, some people from Japan come in through a club that I'm in, um, and they're like they come all the way from Japan. They spend two months in um, I don't know Edmonton or somewhere. I don't know somewhere nice, um, and they learn English and. Sometimes they're given English names, but most of the time they keep their name. Um, we're actually getting someone with an English name, which is really weird to me. I might just ask what his name is and call him by his name. But um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. And I'll be there until Thursday, and then I'll be home. And then I can make another video. Unless I have time to make another video tomorrow. But yeah, you might not be even seeing this until like a week after it's made. So me making this now will only you guys will be seeing this probably like a couple weeks late, like a week later or maybe a couple days same with the next video um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh if you like this leave a like below um if you didn't leave a dislike obviously i really hope you did like it though so i really hope there's not many mis dislikes down there uh comment what you'd like to see me play in the future and of course su subscribe please just subscribe there's no point in watching my videos and not subscribing it's rude <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys in the next Tell me that you love me, even if it's